hello, hello, hello. This is going to be reading for the Wandering Masculine. All right, so look it up, right? This is what I got for y'all since I it basically said that like some of y'all are fucked and some ain't, right? Wandering Masculines, you are the ones who, you know, you, you fucked up with your DF, sure. But you did try to come back and make things right. This is the reading for you. You are the ones who are on the path to redeeming yourself and getting something better. Technically, you'll be united with a feminine who isn't your own. You're the ones who are going to be making up for the bullshit the last one did to the, the feminine. So, take it as that. You could either, like, end up with a new one or you can begin a brand new journey. But this is all for you, right? So, this is your reading. Everybody else, there will be a reading for... Um, divine masculines who have chosen their karmics as well. So for any of you who are interested in those who took the path separate from you, watch on. Divine feminines, you are basically the fucking same. Um, y'all will be next though. Uh, the divines and the karmics will be last at this point. So that's it. So we're looking at wandering masculines right now is what I'm calling them. Because I, like, I really feel like I should separate the two groups. Because there's some of y'all who get it, and there's some of y'all who are still trying to figure it out. They weren't at that point where, you know, like, you fucked it, you know. But for the most part, a lot of you managed to figure it out. But even more of you didn't. So, consider yourselves lucky ones. So we're going to see what's going on with you wandering masculines. Much like the DF right now, you're off the throne, so you're not entirely as divine as you used to be. But you are learning to listen to what's going on around you. So, let's see what we got for you. Looking at your options and how to kill yourself. Or, no, not yourself. Physically, spiritually. Um, transformation. What can you make yourself into? That kind of thing, right? Uh, we got some shit from the past you're using as reference to the future. I think you're learning from your mistakes. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it, it, apparently a lot of you got that shit on your brain hard. Call it a guilty conscience. Uh, lack of communication or reaching out. You're watching somebody get their blessings. But I feel like you're starting to get out of this whole, like, I fucked everything up mentality, right? I was going to call y'all DWs, but that's from Arthur, if you remember that cartoon. Alright, what is your vibration, Wandering Masculines? King of Wands, you're taking control, you're taking action, you're putting passion behind what the fuck you're trying to do. Okay. Wandering Masculines, let's see where you're going. I should have just keep calling you Divine Masculine, but it's whatever. Same person, just, I want to differentiate, right? So let's see what's going on with this. Y'all are looking at options right now. I feel like you're ready to kill off the old ways. A lot of you are ready to just start doing something different. You're, you're finally getting to that point where it's just like, yeah, she's getting her shit, but I need to get over my own shit and figure myself out. I just gotta let it go. I feel like you guys are still reliving that whole, um, bullshit that you might have done to your DF, which is fine, you know. Just don't let it absorb you. Because I feel like even though there's a lack of communication with her right now and she's getting her blessings, you're starting to get over that. You might even be separated from her. And that's probably good for you because right now it'll be a distraction. I'll tell you that much. But I don't want to ruin surprises. So we'll continue. Um, seven of Cups right here for y'all wandering Divine Masculines. What are your options? Okay, so like, you're looking at already options of what it is. Yeah, you're definitely like sulking a little bit. You know, just a tad. Just enough to make you go, mmm, you know. It's like you got your back turned and you're not letting anybody see what it is that like is actually bothering you. Where it's like, you can't possibly like get over this shit and how much... 
you've had to agree to disagree. Flame in the block of life are still there, though. You might not see it just yet, but it is right behind you. You just need to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. And I forgot the words again. <laughs> Alright, death card. Scorpio. It could be Scorpio. Also, you're right here. Um, you're already back in your shape, man. You're doing quite well, actually. Uh, so, you are not doing terribly awful. Like, you're definitely gotten your head straight back on. You're listening to your spirit guides. You're hearing shit, but you also know that something has to die. Yeah. Knowing that, like, ah, da 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 da. You know. And how you're not going to be communicating with her. You can't communicate with your divine, your original divine feminine. Um, it's kind of been severed. Like, your spirit guides just like, nope, 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 nope. Just let this shit go. Um, it's not going to come back the way it is. You're going to sulk over it for a bit, but you understand that it, it, there's nothing you can do. This was the right thing to happen. This is what we call fairness, right? And it feels like things just didn't end the way that you think that they were supposed to go, and you might be a little bit nettled about that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, getting that, uh, you know, don't talk to me. I'll beat your ass, but verbally kind of shit. And... You're just ready to let your guard down after all of this, really. It's been a long road, I feel like, for some of you wanderers. Hey, kitten. What are you doing? Rubbing your face on shit? Rubbing it on the door? Yes, you rub it on the door. You rub it. Yes, you rub it. I love it because like, I'll, I'll just keep talking like that and she'll keep rubbing her face on shit. Rub it. Yes. Yes. Ooh, you even gave it the butt. Look at you go. I'm giving it the butt. Yes. Sorry, I love my kitties. All right. So, death right here. What's this all about? Um, yeah, you know, she's not going to look at you. She's got her back turned to. You feel as though, like, you know, there's no movement with her. That's where your fire is, but it's like, you know, I, I, I can't keep expecting her to turn around just for me after the bullshit you know because i got a caught up you, you, yeah you, you realize you get caught up in your own bullshit and that's what needs to die like i think you recognize that uh she um turned her back from the shit that like it might have went down and you, that's why you, yeah that's why you're reliving all this shit in your head right now wanderers wandering dm Right? Because you know it's over, you just don't know for sure. Like, you know, you still think of that ass every once in a while, sitting in that cup. So, yeah, it, a lot of you, you're definitely, like, stuck in the brain about her. Alright, Six of a Cups. Reverse. You're taking what happened in the past as reference to the future. You know, you're trying to put some passion behind the actions you take now, not just like do shit frivolously or just what feels good. You're actually like taking the time to think, hmm, if I do this, what the fuck is gonna, oh, that's right, this happened last time. Never mind, I'm probably not gonna do that. You know, one of those things, right? Let's see, what are you taking? How you were a miserly dick, you treated your dog horribly. How you turned your back on those who needed you, you when you like when you realized back then is that you did have the choice and you just chose not to take it because it was just like well this dog's gonna still stick around with me if I beat the shit out of it you know like one of those things where it's like you know you realize you did it to yourself I think this is what the eclipse was bringing out with everybody yeah and whatever it was that made you secure is now leaving you insecure um, so for you wandering masculines who did try to do the right thing, like, you guys definitely have come to some terms with yourself, had some self-awareness when it came to this, um, eclipse, I feel like, because a lot of people's drama and shit came out. With it, you know. Especially when it came in regard to trying to, uh, deliver something and being judged harshly for it, but, you know. That could, of course, could have been coming. What are you doing, kittens? 
Why are you sitting right next to my feet? Are you upset because you can't get in the chair and like, you know, harass me? Sorry, I had to go get my water. It is mother effing hot in my house in general, but it's better than being outside right now. And it's hot out there too. It's like, I don't know, it almost feels like 90. If I was in Afghanistan, it'd be a cold ass day. <laughs> All right. Five of Swords reverse. Reliving a betrayal. I think you're reliving the betrayal you did over here. And that's what you're trying to actually get over. Because I don't think you're overwhelmed. I think you're trying to deal with this shit accordingly, you know. Um, it feels like it hurts. But when it comes to, like, healing, injuries, especially ones of the heart, it has to hurt before it can get better. And I think you... I, I feel like somebody needs to hear that. Because that's, like, it's supposed to hurt. That's how you know you're still fucking alive. Um, which is a really fucked up way of putting things, but, you know, we're all here for some truth. Or at least just look at ourselves and see if we can figure something out. Alright. I have a sword. Yeah, you're kind of like, you know it, but you're not talking about it with the High Priestess right here. Um, mainly because it feels like you're just, like, okay. Like, the betrayal's being lived over and over again. Like, not only are you stabbed in the fucking ceiling, you're starting to slide through these fucking swords. And now it's, like, going deeper and deeper into you. Like, you're really cutting harsh. Um, various. All because you can't communicate. You want... I don't, I don't think you want to communicate what's going on inside of you because, like, it's too much. So it's like, I, I'd rather not speak on it at all. It's too much for me. Ooh, hello. She is definitely trying to get my attention. Yes. Look at that cuteness. Oosh. Oosh. Oh, rub the door. Yes, rub it. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're going to shut the door. Rub it. Rub it. Yes, rub it. You rub it good. Yes, you do. Yeah, she just closed the fucking door. That's okay, though. Alright, so the star for you guys, the lack of communication, the lack of reaching out, which you definitely have over here in your thoughts. You might think that she doesn't want to talk to you. You could be right. You could be wrong. We really don't know because this is from your perspective. You know? Yeah, it's like you don't know what to do. But at least you're keeping your cool. Like, you're not sure about what kind of decisions or choices you're going to make in the future regarding this, but you're definitely trying to look at your feelings more than anything. Or understand, like, what intuition actually is. Or maybe you know that, like, she isn't going to talk to you with the High Priestess, and that's what's driving you nuts, because you know it's, and I hate to say, kind of your fault. I'm not trying to be a dick. I really, I'm not, I promise. I'm just... A messenger, and I'm just letting you know. Shit, you pretty much already know. Yeah, like, fairness went the fuck out the window. Okay, could be dealing with a Lyra or a Virgo right here. And you just gotta take your cup elsewhere. Like, I think you understand this a lot more than I thought you did. There might be also some indecision on her part, too. So, just keep that in mind. And I think you feel that. Alright, it's Six of Pentacles. I think this is you thinking about DF and how she's getting blessed and all this shit. And you're just like, I want some too. When do I get my turn? I want a turn. You got her ice cream and you didn't get anything on me. Oh, I'm sorry, kitten. I didn't mean to drop all the cards on you. That's what I get for whining, like a little girl. But, you know, you might be doing that just a little bit. Kitten. You know, because it's just like, you're, like, you know, you're kind of out there, like, where are you, God? Like, where are, or are you better like that? <clears throat> Someone just standing on the porch, like, where the fuck the idiots go? Where are you? You know? Like, I don't know, like, almost like... Huh. Like, a few cards fell down, right? Give me a second, because I want to look at these two right here. Uh, these two specifically.
Hmm. Yeah, she could have been like sitting here waiting for you to release her when in reality all she had to do was release herself. Or you feel like someone was looking for you and you had to pretend to be stuck. Just to say, gotcha, bitch, you know? Uh, you might let your guard down too soon. Bad package deliver. It's an R. Kelly package. Not like an Amazon package. Everyone wants Amazon package. R. Kelly's package is just like, you don't know what's in there. Like, what's in the box? It's from the closet. You know, like one of those things, right? Um, I feel like back in the day in the shadows, you felt like you were king. But now you're looking at what world you created, and it's like, yeah, I need a break. I need a break before all this catches on fire again. I just need a break, you know? Like, I need to rest. I'm old now. You went through some shit, I'll tell you that much. Everybody's gone through some shit. But I feel like you guys who actually fought for your fucking freedom, because this is essentially which DMs this is, is the ones that fought to wander rather than be a slave to vices and shit. I feel like you guys have been through so much already. I'll give you four. Fuck it. Give me my cards, damn it. Okay. Actually, this is five, but I'll give it to you. Fuck it. Um, yeah, you knew your offer was kind of shitty. So you're just like, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go away. This isn't deserved. You didn't do it in an immature way, though. I don't feel like. I felt like you felt immature on the inside, and you just wanted to be like bitch, but you knew she'd hear you psychically, so you just uh, giddied up and go, and it was just like you know what, I'll call her a bitch when I know she isn't in the same fucking country I'm in, because I know that bitch will find me if I say that shit, which she won't, but you know you do want to take a journey, but you don't know where you're going, this is why you're the wanderer you are literally at zero, right now this is you currently this is literally the current card for you right now, you're literally going on the zero journey to possibly find new love or find a new divine feminine or that will work that's where your journey is going to take you it might not be yours but you're going to find a bitch for you one that's probably been abandoned by another uh dm much like the way you did your divine feminine but because you guys have gone out of your way to redeem yourselves boom you're going to get a new one and look betty's giving up a cup <laughs> Betty's offering a cup to God in order for her to keep these two cups. They're your two cups. And this is the third one for your God. Or whoever it is you believe in. Source, universe, Rixum, whatever you want to call it. Now, this four cups reverse where you're trying to get over this energy. Wanderers, right? Let's see. Ooh, that was quick. You might be solitary for a while, but you'll get yourself stable. You're just not going to let a lot of people see you do it. You know, this could also be the um, divine feminine you might be wait that might be waiting for you too. But I feel like this is more like you're just staying solid to yourself and trying to um, fix yourself up first before anything happens, before you deliver anything to anybody else. Could be an earth sign right here. It's just gonna take a lot of, um... Mm, 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 mm. Um... Let me draw one more, because, you know, I just want to make sure. Maybe you realize your delivery to the, um... Commitment was a little bit Jake. Just a tad. Pretty immature on your part, right? But you are recognizing these tower moments. Uh, good for you. So... Please write or wait. Fuck it. What'll be coming up for you? Wandering DMs, I must ask. Well, first of all, you're not going back to some bullshit, and you're not going to give any booty either, so you're kind of running away from, like, crazies. Could be the karmic? I don't know, because water seems to be significant when it comes to um, the karmics and the DMs that stuck with her in my readings, I've noticed. Like, a lot of fucking water, so a lot... The ones that might have stuck around might be water signs, and the rest of you, I don't fucking know. Yeah, you are definitely learning what a bad relationship is. You're trying to get yourself healthy before you do another one. 
Um, yeah, because it led you down the wrong path with shit. Which is good. I'm, I'm happy for you. You know? Um, you guys might want to work together here. You might try to be a little bit logical, too, with the Queen of Swords in order to get yourself out of this shit. It's going to take a bit, but you will get your wish as soon as you reach the clarity you need to get, right? And yeah, this relationship could be broken up, and it could leave you like, you know, maybe I'm going to be a dick. T maybe I'm going to be a dick today. It really doesn't fucking matter. You know, you might be, you might still be feeling this way for a bit over the separation. And you might feel like you can't take a leap of faith anywhere, you know. But, slow and steady wins the race. Take your time. You guys are good. Just take your fucking time. Okay? I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Um... I'm not doing personal readings at the moment, but if you want one, hit me up in my email below. I'm actually going to separate that into two categories, but I will announce that on, like, Saturday, I reckon, because, like, then I'll be doing, like, my regular, like, daily or whatever. But I'll tell you guys about it then. But I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. You guys take it easy. And don't stress yourself so much. Take your time. You're on a whole new fucking journey. Yes? Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Love ya.